On November 9, 1989, the wall came down in Berlin. On November 9, 2009, it went back up again in Los Angeles. Thanks to The Wall Project, a campaign created to raise awareness of the Venda Museum and archive of the Cold War. This unlikely little museum, located in Culver City, California, houses a collection of over 100,000 artifacts and archives from Cold War era Eastern Europe. The centerpiece of the project was an 80-foot stylized wall that was placed across Wilshire Boulevard, closing down the busiest thoroughfare in LA and symbolically dividing the city into east and west. A second wall went up along Wilshire, 10 sections of the original Berlin Wall that were donated by a German citizen who learned about the wall project from a news broadcast. Prominent artists, including Terry Noir, Kent Twitchell, and Shepard Ferry, were invited to paint sections of both walls. Local graffiti artists, as well as the public, were also invited to participate. The wall along Wilshire is the longest stretch of the Berlin Wall outside of Germany. It has attracted visitors from around the world and will become part of the museum's permanent collection. The wall project kicked off with a major press conference in LA. At the same time, the website and Facebook page were launched to help build interest and generate excitement about the event. On November 8th, an audience of more than 1,000 people gathered on Wilshire Boulevard for a ceremony that would culminate at midnight with the toppling of the wall across Wilshire. The German singer Uta Limperer performed live on stage and the mayor of Berlin, Klaus Wolverheit, appeared on video to thank the people of Los Angeles. The event was broadcast live on German TV to an audience of between 10 and 15 million people. The Wall Project was the largest commemoration of the 20th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall outside of Germany. Stories covering the event appeared in the New York Times, the Los Angeles Times, the Wall Street Journal, CNN, Art Info, The Independent, Die Zeit, and Der Spiegel, among hundreds of other publications, news broadcasts, and online journals worldwide. In the end, the Vinda Museum got media exposure in 20 countries, the equivalent of $4.5 million in paid advertising, along with something even more valuable, an international reputation. And the world got a powerful message, that a wall which once divided mankind could become a symbol to help bring it together.